And here's an example of how you should add or subtract a rational expression. In this case, it's a combination. You have three expressions. They're rational expressions because they're like fractions. Here we're adding, there we're subtracting. So how do we do that? Again, the strategy is to make sure that all the denominators are the same. And here we have denominator 4, 6x, and 8. So we're looking for the common denominator, and specifically the lowest common denominator. So we definitely will need an x in each of the denominators, and we need a number that all three numbers, 4, 6, and 8, evenly fit into. So a quick way to do that is to take the largest one and see if the other two fit into that, and 4 does fit into 8, but 6 does not. So we can double the large one, that was 16. 4 fits into 16, but 6 does not. Then you triple the large one, make that 24, and then you realize that 6 fits into 24 and 4 fits into 24. So an easy way to find the lowest common number is to say, ah, I'm going to double or triple, quadruple the large one and see if the smaller ones fit into that. So the LCD in this case is easily seen to be 24x. So now we have to make every denominator equal to 24x. That means we have to multiply this one uh, by 6x, multiply this one by 4, and multiply this one by 3x. Of course, whenever you multiply the denominator by something, you must multiply the numerator by the exact same thing. So this now becomes <clears throat> x plus 1 over 4, since we're multiplying the denominator by 6x, and of course 6x times 4 is 24x, we must also multiply the numerator by 6x. Plus the second fraction, x minus 2 over 6x, and uh, we have to multiply this one by 4, which means we also have to multiply the numerator by 4. Then we subtract the third fraction. We must multiply the denominator <clears throat> by um, uh, 3x, which means we're going to multiply the numerator by 3x as well. There we go. All right, so now we go ahead and multiply these out. So this is equal to 6x times that is 6x squared, plus 1 times 6x is 6x, divided by 24x, plus 4 times x is 4x, 4 times negative 2 is minus 8, divided by 24x. And now here we subtract 3 times x, which is 3x squared, minus 1 times 3x is minus 3x, divided by 24x. So now you can see that all three fractions have the same denominator, so you can write all that over a single denominator. So we'll rewrite this as everything over 24x. <clears throat> so on here we have 6x squared plus 6x. Then we add to that 4x minus 8, and then we subtract from that the 3x squared minus 3x. So when we subtract, we have minus the 3x squared, and minus a minus, gives us a positive, they cancel out, so this becomes a plus 3x, so be very careful about those signs. Now we collect common terms, so we have a 6x squared minus 3x squared, so this is equal to 3x squared. We have a 6x plus 4x, which is 10x, plus 3x, which is 13x, plus 13x. <clears throat> then we have a, a minus 8, just a single minus 8, there we go, and the whole thing divided by 24x. Now, typically what you would like to do here is make sure you cannot factor anything out of the numerator or the denominator. Uh, it looks like, no, 13 is a prime number, and you cannot factor out an x, so that would then be the final answer, the most simplified form of the addition and subtraction of those rational expressions. All right, let's uh, try a few more examples. <clears throat> 